Outside Parliament, everyone's getting ready for what's supposed to be the end game. Parliament will vote next week on whether to accept the deal thrashed out on the UK leaving the European Union. Brexit has sucked all the life out of the airwaves for months and people are sick to death of it. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't look like the end is in sight. Prime Minister! Inside the Mother of Parliament, the debates on where the UK should go are beginning again. Among the 650 MPs, there are at least five different groupings arguing for different outcomes, and there is no sign at all of anyone shifting position. So if her deal is defeated next week, as I hope and expect it will, will the Prime Minister do the right thing and let the people have a real say and call a general election? No, we've put a good deal on the table that protects jobs and security. But I noticed, I noticed in all of that that we still don't know what Brexit plan the right honourable gentleman has. It's supposed to be decision time. The European Union's bored to death with all this, yet it's total gridlock. As things stand at the moment, Parliament has decided that it doesn't want to leave the European Union with no deal. But, apparently, it doesn't like the Prime Minister's deal either nor can it present any sort of alternative strategy for what to do instead. What it means is that if you ask any politician here or any of the journalists camped out here, no one has the first clue what's going to happen next. It lends to the theory that ideas currently being ruled out may end up having to be accepted, at the very least, suspending the process of leaving. Everything is up in the end, everything is implausible. So when you have a series of implausible outcomes, one thing that is currently implausible will necessarily become the reality. So even though general election currently looks very unlikely, that could happen. Even though a second referendum looks unlikely, that could happen. And in effect, that is the most practical thing to do because if Parliament is deadlocked, it makes sense to give it back to the people. Order! Order! The eyes to the right, 308. The, the debate the itself left. was preceded by the government seconds. yet again losing a vote, this time demanding that the Prime Minister say within three days what her plan B is if she loses her vote next week. The eyes have it. The eyes have it. Gradually, Parliament is exerting control over a dysfunctional government. The problem remains that Parliament doesn't know what it wants either. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, in London.